Hello, today I'm going to show you my Midia makeup haul, mostly from Harvey Nichols, with some products from Selfridges and Debenhams as well. Leading the charge is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This launched in the UK on July 27th and I was lucky to get it right before it sold out. I believe it sold out in Selfridges within a matter of a few, a couple of hours actually. Um, I cannot tell you for sure if it is still sold out at Harvey Nichols. It was there when I bought it. Um, this is right now my favourite naked palette. Not only in terms of the packaging, but also in terms of the colours. Currently, I am wearing Scorched and Chaser. This is amazing in terms of formula and pigmentation. I will do a full review of it a little later. Next up is a lip product that I loved so very much that I bought a backup. This is a Lonco Matte Shaker. I bought the shade Beige Vintage. I'll just show you what it looks like. The packaging is a lot like the Juicy Shakers. However, the pigmentation and the wearing time are on a completely different level. I'm wearing this shade right now. The one mascara that I bought on this trip is the Givenchy Phenomenize. I wasn't too overwhelmed by the stark white packaging, but uh, the performance is really good, although the wand looks like a medieval torture device. Review coming soon, as also with the Lonco Matte Shaker. I picked up my first ever non-Korean cushion compact, which is the YSL 2 Shekla. It is very, very sheer. I will be doing an FOTD with it in my very next video, so you can take, the, take a look at what the uh, formula and the pigmentation are like. Uh, the packaging is very blingy, very fancy indeed. I do wish that there was more coverage though. I picked the shade BD50, which is honey. I picked up four of the Giorgio Armani lip magnets. I bought the shades Glow, Second Skin, Fusion and a backup of Fusion because it is the best shade I've ever tried. Um, review coming soon. I talked my mother into buying the shade Maharaja and when she uh, tried it out in natural light it was a virulent bright pink that I have been spending quite a lot of time and effort in avoiding her ever since. So this is what the lip magnets look like. This is the tube itself and this is the applicator. Incidentally, this is the shade Glow. It is actually a very, very coral red. These do go on a little brighter than you would expect, with the sole exception of Fusion, which is quite subtle. Another product that I bought from Armani is the Power Fabric Foundation. I picked the shade 6.5, which the sales assistant assured me was the perfect match. Now, if you are shade 6 in luminous skin, go in for 6.5 in Power Fabric. If you are 6.5 in luminous skin, go in for 7.5 in Power Fabric. That is what the sales assistant has said. Now, uh, this is a really amazing foundation. I have a review and an FOTD coming up, uh, well, shortly, hopefully. Um, the coverage is really, really good. The texture and the lightweight feel, it actually makes my face feel and look and seem much better than it actually it is, despite all the acne scarring and the microneedling RF and the very evident burn marks from my last microneedling session. Review coming soon, as I said. Now, one reason I love the Power Fabric Foundation more than the Maestro is that it comes in pump packaging rather than a dropper. Dio comes next. I bought my first ever five color eyeshadow palette from them in the shade Undress. I'll just show you what it's like. It comes with a velvet pouch. Very neutral, ideal for everyday wear. I bought just the one Rouge Dior lipstick in the shade Adori. I love the packaging, very, very luxurious. The shade is a very medium, bright pink. Review and swatch is coming soon. I'm not really impressed with the formula or the staying part. It's average, very average. I suppose the Armani lip magnets and the Lancome matte shaker had a lot to do with my opinion. I mean, they've spoiled me clearly. 
I bought three of the Estee Lauder Pure Color Love lipsticks. I picked the shades Strapless, Wild Poppy and Radical Chic. Strapless is my favorite. Review and swatch is coming soon, but I'll just show you the packaging. There. This is a kind of packaging we haven't seen from the brand in recent times. I mean, they're all generally deep purple or navy blue in color. Strapless is, needless to say, dusty rose. I also bought a double wear liquid compact and a cushion stick, both in the shade Tawny. Another product that I picked up was the Foreo Iris Eye Massager. I've heard very, very good things about this. Hopefully it will address my dry under eye areas, I mean not dryness per se, prevent any fine lines and even address the dark circles by improving circulation. Look at the dark circles that I have. Terrible lack of sleep. Boots had a couple of offers on benefit, so I got this cute pouch and a few samples free when I bought the, I'll show you. Professional Pore Minimizing Makeup in shade 4. The sales assistant tried to tell me, I mean, she told me to buy shade 3. I did not listen and this one is a tad too deep. I also bought a gimme brow. And with those, I got three samples, a mini roller lash, a mini what's up and firm it up eye serum. I do have a couple of drugstore products to show you, but that is for another day. That's all from me for today. Do subscribe to my channel, do give me a thumbs up and do leave a comment in the description box below. Do also visit my blog cosmetopiadigest.com. Till next time, which will be a face makeup look featuring the Lancome Matte Shaker. Bye.